Hello, my name is Dr. Zachariah Hildenbrand, and I am one of the lead scientists on the uh, UTA water well study. Uh, much has been made about our recent publication in the Journal of Environmental Science and Technology, where we found ev elevated levels of heavy metals and trace amounts of uh, methanol and ethanol in areas near, nearing uh, natural gas extraction sites. Um, now we've moved on to a second project, something that we've been working on for the last year in which we are doing a time-lapse analysis of groundwater quality as a function of increasing hydraulic fracturing activity. Uh, we're doing this in the Klein Shale of the Permian Basin region and this is actually a very, very unique study. Um, in our first study in the Barnett Shale, we didn't have the luxury of collecting pre-fracting or, or pre-natural gas extraction measurements to compare to the measurements we took in 2011. Um, in this study, uh, we do. Um, so we've gone ahead and collected nearly 60 measurements prior to any hydraulic, hydraulic fracturing activity. And now we are going in to collect the during and after measurements. And this will give us the most direct evidence as to whether this uh, technique for the extraction of hydrocarbons is having an effect or not on the surrounding aquifers. Um, previously with our work in the Barnett Shale we financed the project ourselves um, in, in conjunction with some, uh, some support through Dr. Kevin Shug and his discretionary startup funds. Um, we each put in thousands of dollars of our own money. Um, I put in thousands of dollars of my own personal savings to finance this research because we understood that we needed to say objective and to perform the experiments um, without any sense of bias. Um, and so it is rather extreme for us to finance this ourselves, um, but we knew that it was absolutely critical to do so um, when you're dealing with a topic that, of, of this uh, contentious nature. For this next study in the Klein Shale, um, we have also financed the, the first set of measurements. Unfortunately, we cannot continue to do so um, for the during and after measurements. And so we've uh, resorted to Microriza, um, a crowdfunding uh, resource in which we are asking for your help to, uh, to help us finance this project. Uh, majority of the funding will go to, uh, to finance um, Doug Carlton, who is a fantastic PhD student, um, he does all of our analytical chemistry work and also we need uh, funds to support uh, the, the acquisition of reagents and to, uh, to run um, analyses such as metal and mineral analyses, ICP, MS, and also our gas chromatography experiments where we're able to uh, detect and quantify the levels of uh, well-known uh, hydraulic fracturing compounds. Uh, again, we are using Microriza to, to help us uh, generate this support, and we really would appreciate your consideration. Thank you very much, and have a great day.